so today is, uh, is the first day out of four, we hope. It might take five, may it take six even. We're starting in the southernest point, going all the way up to the northernest point of Rasajema, getting a absolutely amazing de desert experience. And most of them haven't even slept in tents before, you know, so it's, it's uh, definitely like jumping into the deep end, you know. It's gonna be a long, long day, a short night, and an early, early morning tomorrow morning to keep on going north. So we're here with ex-Dubai athletes Lin Yang, JB O'Neill, Nikolai Rogatkin, Georgie Fechter, myself from Mass of Dirt, and it's gonna be such an awesome trip. I've never been to the desert except like doing the tourism thing for maybe an afternoon. Very excited about the camping, very excited about the driving, but I'm quite nervous to be honest. Man, I don't know how I feel going into this. I know it's gonna be gnarly, I know it's gonna be absolutely unique and incredible and we're gonna like just be out here ourselves but I don't have many expectations you know it's the first time doing something like this going deep out into the desert I've gone camping on my boat before but I feel like it's a little bit more luxury than just uh, getting baked out here in the Sun I have been to the desert uh, before um, off-roading camping in the desert as well so I'm, I feel like I'm a little bit prepared I know maybe a little bit what to expect, which uh, gives me a head start from the guys because the guys haven't camped in the desert before, so that should be really fun to see how they deal with that. And now it's official, we're into the desert. Yeah, finally, we are out away from civilization. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Keep the momentum. Ah! <laughs> the landscape here is so nice. It's like just massive sand dunes. The sun is setting. It's it looks incredible. It's like it was really hot, but like with a nice breeze, and it's just such a nice experience. The athletes have never been to do anything like this before. They're all super comfortable in their own realms if you like. Uh, we've flown them in from all around the world. There's four of them here with us and uh, so far so good. So let's see what the rest of it brings. The stars were amazing but it was super hard to fall asleep. I was like sweating and stuff but then I was in deep sleep and then they woke me up. It's weird the first time you go out with people in the camping and no, everyone sitting around is waiting for everything to happen. Then they kind of realize that if they're hungry, they need to sort it out themselves. Can we stop at a water park, please? <laughs> Wild Wadi. So, all my tires were at. 12 last night and as of this morning we had one anomaly at 6. We're going to try fill it back up and hope it doesn't deflate again. Hopefully, successfully slide down this hill. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Just leaving Liwa with. 35 degrees. We've got a big drive ahead of us now. We got a bit of an AC argument in here. Those guys are more pro AC. I'm more like microclimate to not blast it so hard, but um, great times. We've been trying to catch up uh, on time and trying to reach the camp spot. Uh, that we had planned for the night. 
but because of all the oil fields we had to go around and we a road that used to be there is not anymore there and we just on the border between Saudi and Oman at the moment almost and uh, we are crossing this huge huge field we had a little bit of drama with our tire we thought we might have a flat tire but then it seems to be fine then we we put air in um, and it dropped down again now it's fine so we just I think we're doing well. No drama so far. Oh, the sauce in the packaging. Do you know what it is? It's sauce and almond milk. Ew! <laughs> the garlic sauce, hot sauce, almond milk mix of doom. Yeah. You know that this white box actually hit the rooftop tent. <laughs> it's not even that bad smell, it's nice. Yeah. Well, you can sleep in it then. <laughs> that is mine, yes. I still spread it out so it airs it. Ah. No. No, we have to. No. no you <laughs> probably need to wash it. Wait. The hot sauce is not ready to party. It's not ready for 155k per hour over the desert. The campsite yesterday was devastating. Organized devastating. Everything was all over the place. People on the left, on the right, no one was together. We have to make up for time, so my plan was to actually ideally leave all the stuff with the cars, with the boxes, until the whole garlic sauce smashed. So now we have to unpack everything and the campfire is a bit far from the cars. So we lost a bit of time in organization again, but we'll make up for it by packing some stuff tonight if we can organize some light. And then tomorrow we'll start full blast. Yeah, so it's I, pretty insane. We fell asleep like this, kind of just looking at the stars. Incredible. Is there any sand in the tent? No. Not yeah. Much. Yeah? Not in mine. Bro, you can't say there's not a single grain of sand in here. Not a single grain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, on your side. So yesterday didn't really go as planned. Uh, we ran out of fuel or just about to run out of fuel. So we had to pull over. We found a camp spot here, not even close to where we're supposed to, uh, to be. Hopefully we should have a gas station out of here, uh, according to our GPS. Uh, we should get out of the desert this afternoon and hopefully up into the mountains. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, so stuck. George was like, oh, blast that dune, blast that dune, and I, I tried. Why did I have this idea? <laughs> and now yeah. the seatbelt doesn't come out anymore. <laughs> it happens, it happens to everyone. Yeah. I needed to take one for the team. <laughs> just trying to document this. It's just too funny, man. The confidence level that these two had going into that. They thought it was going to be the sickest thing ever. <laughs> and now look at the whip. Great idea, Georg. Not the last time, not the first time. Not the first time, not the last time. Yes, Karim. We've been driving all day. It's hot. Morgan got stuck. It took us ages. Overall, I'm very knackered. It's a... Uh, it was a big uh, change from being in Dubai, having full service hotels, to coming into the desert, sandy. I'm not the temp camper type of guy. Uh, I just almost never did it in my life. So we're finally leaving the desert after a few days. Um, everyone's a bit tired and worn out after uh, a long day today catching up on time. But um, the change of scenery should be a, a refresh for everyone to get back in spirit. Finally rocked up to the beach. We were out in the desert for so long. It's been so hot. And uh, me and some of the homies, we went swimming and uh, kind of got refreshed and stuff like that. Went for a quick wakeboard, just kind of cruise around and stuff. It was really fun, nice and refreshing. And now we're on to the next spot.
Uh, so now up in the mountains, we had a really long day driving through the desert. Drove up north and now all the way up to the mountain top, just in time for sunset and it's gorgeous up here, it's really really nice. Just woke up, pretty iconic location behind us. Not iconic per se, but very beautiful. And uh, yeah, final night in the tent. Gotta get, on, uh, gotta get on my bike right now, I guess. So we're up here on the mountaintop. It's our final morning here. Finally get to ride my bike. It's been on the back of the Jeeps all week, getting sanded out. Finally get to get some action on it. These trails are super hype, super fun to rip them. It's loose, it's rocky, it's tech on this bike, but it's a lot of fun. I also saw some drops down at the bottom that I'm hoping I'm gonna get to hit. Uh, and then I think we're out of here. We're gonna head to Wadi and, and see where it goes from there. We've been riding some mountain bike. There's some mountain bike trails here around uh, the mountain that the locals has built. Pretty cool trails. Nicola got absolutely the wrong bike for this kind of trails, but uh, that's, it's fun to see him ride for a bit. Now we're heading down, going into the wadi, and that's basically our final destination. We've provided these vehicles to X Dubai, and they've taken the vehicles right from the most southern point of the UAE all the way north. Um, and throughout the whole journey, the vehicles performed fantastically. They've got us through every terrain um, that the UAE has to offer. We finally reached uh, as north as we can get in the UAE. Uh, a few more kilometers north and we'll be uh, in the Oman border. Um, it's been amazing actually. Uh, everyone had a great time. Uh, we worked the cars hard, um, but they performed unreal actually. We had no issues at all, apart from a strange tire at the beginning. But apart from that, absolutely perfect on all terrain we've hit and we've ticked off as many as we can. It's finally the end of the trip. The cars have been amazing, but you know what has been even more amazing? It's uh, the new friends I made on this trip and the places we went to that humbled us down, put things back into perspective. We went all the way from south to north. Um, it's been a hell of a trip. When we started it, it seemed like the trip was going to take ages, you know, days in the desert, no connection like no outside world kind of out there on our own but i went by seemingly fast i mean the days were just so packed with so much stuff that we were doing and uh yeah we've, we've already made it to the end and we're we're looking pretty good i would say oh you yeah. said you're done now that's it like, i'm done you're done, done. <laughs>